This is such a magical place. Look at how beautiful this is. That is amazing. Namaste and welcome to Nepal. It is our first time visiting this magical country. Join us as we explore Kathmandu and take in all of these sights, the sound, the smells of this beautiful city. Over here, there's a bunch of people who bought these gold coins and they're trying to throw them somewhere over here. I think into like that hole. There's a bucket there. Yeah. There are a few like targets that you can aim. The more difficult they are, the better luck you get. I think we should... We should try it. Yeah, should try our luck. <laughs> so I just paid 10 rupees and we get 8 coins. Okay, we get four let's each, try. Yeah? Whoa, so close. <laughs> Not even close. Okay, let's go up and see what is up there. Oh, wow, you carving, look. Ten carving. And when, when wow. complete like that, you look here. Oh, that's wow. beautiful. No, happy, you look. This is my new design, happiness wow. one. Beautiful. Beautiful. I give it Nepali prize if you want. <laughs> but one thing, you know, everybody say, you know, I make, I make, you know, that is not true. Tourist people coming, they're doing just like that, like that, you know, I make, I make, that is but not you, true. But you are for yeah, real. I show you look how to make. Just <laughs> <laughs> looking. The water. Whoa. Oh, wow, that's... Whoa. Look at the, the vibration. Because of the, oh, that's amazing. Tibetan ball. Not a machine, handmade. Oh. Close your eyes. <laughs> Thank you for showing us. Thank sure. you, then you bought. That was quite neat. Just the fact that I've never had that experience with the Tibetan bowl before like when he put it over my head and then he hit it I felt like I was somewhere else like zen out right yeah so crazy this is such a magical place look at how beautiful this is that is amazing you know, I was so excited to come here by just looking at the photos online. But it's a different kind of experience once you are here. I see... I see monkeys. Yeah. I see so many monkeys. <laughs> that guy has the best view. So I don't know too much about this religious site here, but it is a Buddhist temple and it is called Swayambu Nat, which is like the monkey temple, I think. And you can see over there, there is this giant stupa with the Buddha's eyes and Buddha's eyebrows painted. And the nose is actually the Nepal script for number one. There's just like a feeling of calmness, peacefulness around this area. Oh, and it's also one of the most important, most sacred Buddhist pilgrimage sites. Real quick, before we travel to a new place, we take the time to learn a few useful phrases from the country we are going to. Not only does it help us to get around easier, but it also helps us to feel more confident speaking to locals. To prepare for our trip to Nepal, we have been using the online language learning platform italki, who is also the sponsor of today's video. What's unique about italki is that you can take customizable one-on-one -on -one language lessons with high-quality native speaking teachers at any time, any 
anywhere and they have more than 150 languages for you to choose from. There's a lot of flexibility when it comes to finding a teacher. You can narrow down by lesson category, where the teacher is from, or even what other languages they speak. Another cool feature is that you can click instant lesson and have your lesson immediately. There's no need for you to schedule ahead of time. We had a blast learning Nepali from our teacher Shiksha who lives in Kathmandu. She not only taught us the useful phrases we wanted to learn, but she also shared some insights about her culture and gave us tips for traveling around Nepal. Say kaha. Kaha. And kino is why you should definitely go to Lakeside Pokhara and do paddle boating. We love that we can go beyond language learning on italki and we'll continue to use it for new countries we visit. The best thing about italki is that you pay per lesson. There's no subscription, no commitments, and lessons are priced from only $5. So start your language learning journey now by clicking the link in our description box. And don't forget to use our promo code FN5 to get an additional $5 credit on your first lesson. This discount is only available to the first 50 users. Now let's get back to the video. One of the main reasons we decided to start our day here is because here at this temple you get a beautiful view of the Kathmandu Valley and this gives us a chance to see what the city is like because when we were descending from the plane we were like wow this is so different from anything we have seen before there's no super big high-rises there's no like crazy shining lights it just seems like a lot of smaller buildings all different colors it's pretty neat this is such a beautiful street yeah. and everywhere smells so good because all the stalls like all the vendors will be burning incense and it's like different incense maybe and then all of them combined together you're like oh everywhere smells so good there are so many things i want to buy but because we travel so much we don't we can't oh, we can't carry them that one is beautiful like oh this is so beautiful i love i love this skinning thing what is this that you found it's the tiger a, moving game look at how beautiful this is I would love to get this. What does it say here? Traditional game of Nepal. The most popular board game. This is Nepalese famous bag chal we call mm -hmm. in Nepali. Bag means tiger, chal means move. It's one of the, our grandpa, my father, when they're younger, that time they play. Oh, okay. Many times. But now younger generations don't play this Very anymore. few people, but until some people they buying and they put the souvenir also. Yeah. Sometimes mm -hmm. they play also, but that is one of really nice game. It's a beautiful decoration. Yes. yes. Mm -hmm. We don't tend to buy a lot of souvenirs when we travel because we try to pack light. But I agree with you. I have this urge to buy things. Like it's just so unique. It's so colorful has such a cultural element to it. Even the jewelry. So we're gonna see how long we can resist. I feel like we're here for almost a month. <laughs> we might have to ship some things home. And this one is infinity, like this. There is no start, no end. So it's called infinity. So how do you say it again? Om Mani Padme Hum. So it means God give long life and happiness life. Mm. So this is made from the river stones, mm. from the river. Oh. And like this one is made from the mountain stones. Oh, okay. So this one is 500. Any discount? Give me 450. Can and you put it not, on for me? yeah. So it's easy to do. Okay. Beautiful. Yeah, very nice. Wow. Anything. Yeah. Yeah. Very nice. And have a good time. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Bye-bye. I'm happy now. That looks beautiful. This is so beautiful.
If you're planning to come visit the temple here, there is an entrance fee. So we paid 200 rupees per person. It is cheaper if you were from some South Asian countries, I believe, or if you're local here, but for most of the foreigners from other countries, it is 200 rupees each. You said 300? Oh yeah. Okay, 300. Come, come. <laughs> we got it from 1,000 to 300. <laughs> Let's get in. Okay, so we just hopped onto a taxi to take us from the temple here back to Tamil where our hotel is. We have two options really of getting around. We either can go by taxi where you, you do need to bargain a little bit because the price is can be really high yeah or we've been using Patal a ride sharing app here in Nepal mm -hmm. we took it to come to this temple yes. but on the way back we had trouble finding driver mm -hmm. so what we did was we use it as a reference for prices so now we know it should cost around 250 to 300 instead of a thousand of what the first guy asked us for we were both really excited to come to Nepal because it is the first country for us that feels a bit more out of our comfort zone. We don't know the language, we don't really know the culture, and we're just really open to learning more about it while we're here. We do, however, have a really good friend who we met, who we well, no, met from Calgary, and he's a police and he lives in Kathmandu now. So that's why we're going back to our hotel and we'll get to meet our friend Nima. Nima and I go way back. We went to the same high school in Calgary. I was the first international student that got sponsored to go to Canada. And Nima was the second. And we became really close because of that. So this is Nima. Hello. Isn't he handsome? Very handsome. <laughs> <laughs> Not just handsome, very handsome. <laughs> He's taken though. He's taken. He recently just got married to Actually, Tina. We will meet her. Yeah. She's, like, <laughs> she's looking forward to meet you guys. Oh, uh, okay. So, so where are you taking us to go for so lunch? We are going to this place called Basantapur. Uh, so it's an old palace. Used to be uh, the kings from other parts of Nepal. Uh, made a palace, so we gonna go there and then just do some uh, visit some restaurants, local oh, restaurants. Okay. Nice. There will be lots of food, right? Yes. Good, because I'm really hungry. So hungry. <laughs> more rugged but at the same time it feels super charming it feels like everyone is just going about their day and it's very busy but when you stop make eye contact with a local person and smile they always give you the biggest smile back and that's just one of the reasons why we're really enjoying the vibe here in Kathmandu Whoa. Uh, what do we have here? Where are we now? This is a stupa, small stupa. This is a name, small, this is a small, a small stupa. Yeah. All of them are beautiful. Yeah. We don't know which are like the popular sites, but all of them to us look so beautiful. There's something magical about these stupa. And the flags. Hi, Hi. Namaste. 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 How are you? <laughs> <laughs> Did you know the nose? You see that symbol? Yeah. It's actually number one in the police. Yeah. You, you knew that? I knew that. Oh. I'm, I've always known that. Oh, okay. But did you know it's also number one in, in Thai. Thai? Oh, really? Yes. Oh. But Taiwan doesn't have the tail. So it's just oh, circle, okay. and, circle and stop there. Okay. What are they eating? It's like rice, right? Mixed rice. No, no. It's Is like it? a mixed. Uh, uh, mixed um, 
puffed rice oh. and uh, noodles. Oh. oh, let's try it. Hello, namaste. Wow, that looks good. And they don't eat it with a spoon, they just use a cardboard. Where are you from? From Thailand. Thailand. You know? You know Thailand? So they come. It's like a new uh, new session just started. New session? Yeah, so they, they got, they got uh, books, new term, yeah, let's say, yeah. Oh, it's all in English? Yeah. Everything is in English here. Yeah. Oh! English What is this? Cat. A cat. C A T. C A T. Yeah. C A T. That's good. P R O T. P O R R O. P R P R R O T. Parrot. Yeah. What about this one? Peace. Peace. F I S. Okay. What do you call this again? Chatpat. Chatpat. Chat. Chat. Chatpat. Chat. Fluffy uh, fluff rice, yeah. yeah. And fluff instant rice, noodles. Cilantro, cilantro, peanuts. Chickpeas, potatoes. Oh, there's potatoes and chickpeas too. Yeah. And look at the spoon. <laughs> <laughs> it's a cardboard. Oh. Mmm. It is spicy. <laughs> spicy and salty and sour. It's like dry instant noodles. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But better because they add there's so much texture in there. Mm. Very good though. Oh, this is a great snack. Mm. So we're in a small monastery in the Tamil area right now, and it's prayer time. So we're just quietly walking around the outside and Nima told us what this is which we saw earlier in the day this is called a mani and what you do is when you're at a Buddhist temple and you see this you would touch this and walk around the temple or the stupa and when you're doing that and doing the round you will be focusing on good thoughts Guy over here cleaning up wires. If you thought the Thailand cable situation was, was bad. bad, here is even this worse. Is, this is quite next level. Yeah, those guys have a lot of work to do. <laughs> but afterwards, it's gonna look really good and yeah. it'll be safe yeah. for the people. The street suddenly became very busy. Yeah, very busy. What is this area? This place is called Indra Chok. And uh, it's, it's pretty famous for shopping and stuff like that. And you said that it's also like a main hub for trading? So that's why there's... Uh, used to be. Used to be. Oh. <laughs> we can't stop, we gotta keep going. Keep going. Yeah, maybe this way. yeah, there's definitely a lot of shops here selling like beads and gold and fabric. Lots of stuff happening. There was even a cow. Nima said she wants us to try something. He didn't tell us what it is. <laughs> oh, samosas. Let's try samosas, please. Whoa. It must be good. Everyone is eating samosas. Let's try this. Mm. The sauce is so yummy. There's potato and peas. And lentils, it's really yummy. It's nice and hot. It's vegetarian, it's so good. These are deep fried. Yeah. It's not greasy at all. The sauce is amazing. And I love that it's really hot. We pour it. So now uh, you just walk. Walk. Yeah, you can say whatever yeah, you want. Oh, okay. Yeah. So here we are. This place is in New Road called uh, Tip Top. Tip top. Tip top, yeah. See, it's not easy to find this place, but they have lots of customers every time. So this is like throughout the day. 
Well, you do, it's actually... You, you uh, off-frame, yeah, there you go. Well, actually, it's a tip-top tip -top. suitcase. Yeah. Suitcase so and, I think they primarily and, sell suitcases and this is yeah, <laughs> tip top sweets and snacks yeah. and there's a tip top tailor over there and say um don't forget to like and subscribe yeah don't forget to like and subscribe the best youtube channel <laughs> yeah yeah very good <laughs>